This is the third time I'm filming this. Yeah, that's right. We did some vlogs, didn't we? And we haven't uploaded anything yet. That was all from my phone. Levi is sat here having his breakfast. And he thinks I'm talking to him. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Who's that? Is that you? <laughs> I've ran out of battery. We've finished our breakfast. We've finished laundry and we're sitting and playing at the moment. And I really hope this will be the last time I have to film this. I've never had to do this for any of my previous videos at all. It somehow feels so different as if this is the first time I'm sitting down in front of the camera to film but it's not technically so I really hope this will be it okay uh, so this video is some life updates that I wanted to talk to you about first and foremost I love multitasking I do many things at one time and I thrive for it I enjoy it and I'm so good at it however a lot has changed ever since Levi arrived. I realized that I have no longer got the time in my hands. I no longer have the privilege of multitasking or doing multiple things. So I need to pick and choose. And I need to find the balance, basically, between everything. Levi is obviously still young. So he needs the most of my time. During his wake time, which is much, much longer now, I cannot do anything else that I want to do for myself at all. I can only do it while he's sleeping or when he goes to sleep. Um, and he only naps for like an hour and twice a day. And by the time he goes to sleep at half seven, I'm that tired. And I want I am ready to go to bed by nine o'clock at night as well. So I haven't got time to do much at all. But what has happened is that I've had to work on several things. And I realized that I'm in an entirely different season. And I had to relook at my priorities and change things accordingly. And unfortunately, YouTube was the least... In that list um, but it's something that I enjoy the most but I just couldn't prioritize it at all I have been working on a project that I have been doing for the last six years now it's been such a long time in the making I kept delaying and postponing it but when it came to January of this year I knew that I couldn't postpone it any longer I had to finish it I'm not able to give you any more details at the moment, so forgive me for speaking in riddles and I am terribly sorry if it annoys you. Sometimes it annoys me when someone is talking about secret projects and they cannot tell anything about it, but technically this is it. I had to make time to work on it and because I was spending so much time in a week for videos, planning a video, filming it and then editing it, I technically spend about 10 to 15 hours um, a week maybe on this and because I needed more time for this other project that I was working on it only made sense to take a back seat with video editing so that I can make more time for that. Um, that is kind of finished already. We are wrapping that up at the moment. So I did have more time since last month onwards but then I've been doing a lot of other things also. So January I was working on my project. February um, we had a conference that I was speaking at. I was one of the speakers in a conference in Aberdeen. Um, I vlogged that trip. Baby, careful, you'll fall. Do you want to come behind a little bit? There you go. Ah. Um, we had, um, what was I saying? I vlogged that Aberdeen trip in February, but I haven't edited it yet because I couldn't make time to edit it. I've looked a few other things also. It was my mother's 60th birthday in January and then it was this Aberdeen trip and then there was something else. Oh, the kitchen! Yeah, I worked on the kitchen and that's for an entirely different video, okay? But I was vlogging a little bit of that process also. Um, so there were a few other things that we were doing. I was decluttering the entire house. By decluttering, I mean trying to be minimalistic a little bit. I know it doesn't look like that with the background that you see behind me, but yeah, trying to get rid of the junk and the multiple extras that I have and shoving everything up in the loft. When we first moved into this house, the developers very specifically told us that the loft is only to store Christmas decorations. But at the moment, the amount of things that I have in my loft at the moment is probably sufficient to set up an entirely new household. Uh, that's how much things I have that I have accumulated in this house. I've also been reading a lot more. I finished my 10th book of this year yesterday morning 
And it's only third week of March and I've managed to do 10 books because I'm making more time to read now as opposed to videos, obviously. Last year, I don't think I even managed to read 10 books in the entire of last year, where most of last year... Um, what was it? I was on maternity leave. I mean, I had Levi in April last year. Uh, so technically, I didn't really have time for reading. I didn't make time for reading. But this year, I've consciously made time for reading and I'm... Um, monitoring it, making a note of it. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram. And every time I finish a book, I would, you know, put up a very, very short review about it to see, you know, what the book is about and everything. And I've got a highlight on my Instagram also about books that I've read this year. So if you wanted to follow me, you could. I also started a new Instagram page for Levi. I don't think I even mentioned it here before. I wanted to update all of Levi's, you know, posts and updates and everything on that separate Instagram, make it all about him and not just on my own Instagram page. I was very religiously updating it with his um, weaning process. I wanted to kind of do 100 food, uh, 100 types of food before one. <sighs> That's a long story. I don't even know where we are. I stopped halfway in it. I haven't even counted. Life is basically zooming at 200 miles per hour. Time is running so fast. Not even running, it's flying and zooming past. Levi is turning one on the 13th of April and that's less than a month away. I have no idea where the time has gone to. And we've got his dedication on the 10th of April on a Sunday in church as well. So the next couple of weeks is going to be quite busy. There will be a lot of things, but I definitely want to document it. I definitely will be vlogging it. Um, last night, I edited one of the videos that I vlogged in November of last year. It was when we put up our Christmas tree. Because it's Levi's first Christmas, obviously I wanted to film all of those things. But I had completely overlooked it. So I didn't edit it at all. Yeah, that's right, baby. Mommy forgot to edit that video, isn't it? Did you enjoy putting up the Christmas tree? Yeah? Now he's gone quiet when I'm talking to him. He's chatty. He's very, very chatty. He's 11 months already, by the way, and he's talking a lot. He's kind of responding to us, you know, and it's so nice to see him do that. I think that was a bad excuse us. So I put all of my videos, all of my clips in one folder. When I went into that folder last night to check, I was so surprised that I saw this and I started editing it. It's only five minutes video. Ultimately, it came down to five minutes, but it took me such a long time to edit it because I haven't sat with Final Cut Pro in more than two months now. The last video I did was in January and then I haven't done anything else until then. But it was so nice to see that video. Like, I was seven months old in that. He was so chubby and so cute. He was just starting to sit down. Um, I just really miss filming. I really miss uh, editing everything, you know, for keepsake. It's so nice to look back at it. And I, I really want to do that again. I want to get better at capturing emotions. Someone is sleepy. <laughs> What's the time? Uh-oh. It's Levi's bedtime. I want to get better at capturing emotions and my thoughts especially. I do have a lot of thoughts that I don't manage to either write down or film it. But I really want to get better at that. So most likely, um, the future videos will be a lot more freestyle as opposed to, you know, scripted and everything. But when there are things that I want to script, that I want to talk about, of course, I will... Um, do that. I will write it down and I will do it. But yeah, it's it's time now for me to get back to YouTube video and, you know, try and balance my time. Um, I need to now, now that my project is over, I need to make more time to balance between reading and video and several other things, you know, to... Yeah. What are your goals for this year, baby? Okay. Oh, is that so? Is that what you want to do? What else do you want to do? Uh, are you looking forward to nursery? Uh, yeah, you are. He will be going to nursery in July. I am going back to work in July. I've already decided on that. So, exciting times. Three more months and then I'll be going back to work again. Um, so yeah, there, there are quite a few things. As far as I'm aware, in the near future, there's Levi's dedication, there is um, his birthday, 
and then I'm going back to work and I do have a few videos that I've filmed already like I said in the beginning so it will be putting up the Christmas tree my mother's 60th birthday um, Aberdeen trip the conference that we went to in February that was a vlog also and the kitchen we spent a lot of time for kitchen a lot of money as well <laughs> um, it wasn't too expensive but some of the things that I learned along the way was really really good that I want to share it with you also I have to go now it's time for this baby boy to sleep and I will see you again in the next video bye